हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मार्स शॉट नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट वर्क्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो दैट दिस सॉर्टिंग इज एफिशिएंट फॉर लार्ज लार्ज लिस्ट ऑफ डेटा एंड लाइक क्विक सॉर्ट इट आल्सो फॉलोस डिवाइड एंड कंक्वे अप्रोच बट समहाउ इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम क्विक सॉर्ट एज पार्टीशनिंग इन क्विक सॉर्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन द पाइवेट एलिमेंट whereas in mars sort we divide the list in nearly two equal halves now uh, as you can see in the figure and uh, now take a look on its performance right so its best case performance is big o and log n and its worst case or you can say average case is also same that is big o and log n so now let's understand it through an example so we have taken a uh, taken an example of uh, seven elements and uh, now let's divide the list in equal or nearly equal halves if you have an even list let's say six elements then that would be 3 and 3 means three elements in each sub list will be there but uh, as here we have seven elements which is an odd number so our first list is greater than the second list by one element now the, uh, this is how we divide the list we are splitting our list from the fourth in, uh, fourth in uh, fourth element or you can say third index position so here is our two sub lists one is containing four elements and the other one is three which is not equal but nearly equal like we have odd number of elements in the array so follow the same procedure to divide the uh, list and obtain till only one element is left in each sub list so divide the sub list in the right side 5 8 4 it will be 5 8 and 4 1 two sub list will be there then divide 5 8 this will lead to one element each in each sub list then leave it it is exit condition and now let's quickly move to the uh, second sub list which we obtained first 4 and 1 so it will divide and it will get, we will get two sub list one element in each so now let's move to our second sub list which we have obtained earlier which is containing three elements 3 7 and 2 so let's divide it we obtain 3 7 and 2 now 3 7 our first sub list is divided to 2 and 2 is the only element so it will not get further divided so how it is you know dividing the whole concept of dividing is done so now let's start merging it now let's start merging our sorted sub list from the bottom right here guys why i am calling the uh, sub list as sorted because now our list are containing only one element so it is very much understood that if a list contain only one element it is already sorted so it is uh, uh, already in sorted form right so uh, let's move further we have 5 and 8 in each sub list so that will be in the correct order so it will leads to 5 8 Okay, five is less than eight, so five will come first, and eight. As we are arranging our list in ascending order, right? So five eight, it is okay. Then uh, in the right hand side, we have four and one, right? So that would be one and four. Okay, one is less than four, so it will come first. Now five eight are one sub list, and one four is the second sub list. Then we have to merge the two. okay so let's compare both of the list so it will lead to one is the smallest element which is in the second sub list right so well one will come first then after that four and then in the first sub list that is five and then eight okay then one four five eight it is in the ascending order so we have merged and sort in the sorted form this list then let's take a look on the right side of the sub list that are 3 and 7 so is this will lead to 3 7 okay it is in the correct order 2 is the only element so we need not 
do anything then we have three seven two elements in the first sublist and two in the second so uh, by while arranging we get two three and lastly the seven right so now we have to we have with two sublist in the sorted form so we have to now merge the two sorted sublist to form our last final output so let's start comparing with one element first element of both the sublist so one is the first then one will come and now four is the largest right so we have to uh, see in the second sublist so it's two we found two then three four five seven and last eight right so friends two things are happening here first we are keep on dividing the list into the smallest units right so you can say it as one unit and uh, then we are comparing each element with the adjacent list to sort and merge the two adjacent lists right and uh, that's how we finally obtain a sorted list so let's quickly take a look on its algorithm so here what we have what i am doing i have taken a i am making a function here merge sort is the name and which is taking two parameters low and high right low and high are the two parameters now low indicates to the starting index position okay and uh, high is the and index position so how we are calculating the mid we are splitting the our list to two in from the mid right so mid we have to calculate the mid so mid equal to low plus high divide by two so take a look on our array it is low is the is zero right right and uh, high is two oh sorry six so mid equal to 0 plus 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 3 so and this is our mid means we have to divide our list from the index position 3 now if suppose we have 8 elements then the mid will be 0 plus 7 divided by 2 right is equal to 3 dot uh, 3 point something so guys here we only take whole numbers ignoring decimals as it indicates the index position right so it will be 0 to 3 and our second sublist will be 4 to 6 okay now let's move further and apply merge sort in both of the lists separately so we i am you know calling the merge sort this is a recursive function recursive function the function which calls itself from its body right so i am calling the merge sort function uh, in the two sublists separately like merge sort and I am passing the low and high will be mid so from 0 to 3 I am applying the merge sort and also to the second half that is mid plus 1 means fourth index position to high okay so now you know uh, this is the endless loop and it will give us error so there should be an exit condition for that we have to you know we have to put some exit condition so you can put it like if condition like if low is greater than equal to high then the function should return yeah means the element is the only element one element is there if low is equal to high and if somewhere it is it will be you know greater than high then it, the function should return so this is the exit condition means it is the only element which is left so we don't have to divide the list further so um, that's it and uh, now we are end with our splitting up digits and now what we have to do we have to sort the array we have to sort our list right so how to do that so start merging the sorted list I have taken three variables i, j and k and uh, i is equal to low let's take a look so i is equal to low means it will equal to zero right uh, low is a uh, starting index position and uh, j equal to mid plus one um, what is mid it is the index position from where we have split it right so j equal to mid plus one so that will be four 
and uh, now k equal to low so k equal to low i have taken this variable uh, k for adding element in our array b which is you know uh, which contains the sorted elements and is equal to the length of our original array so k is pointing to the first uh, index now what we have to do we have to you know um, compare compare till one of the two sublist will get exhausted there should be a condition right there uh, it may happen that one of the two sublist will get exhausted first so repeat the following steps until i become greater than mid means i will become greater than mid means our first sublist will get exhausted first right or j is greater than high what is high it is the last index position guys so if j will become greater than high means our second sublist will get exhausted so repeat until both of uh, one of the two conditions will get fall uh, true sorry so what we are doing there is an if condition if a of i is less than a of j means element at index position i if it is smaller than the index position at j means if one is smaller than two yes it is so what we have to do we have to put the small value means we have to put the value at i that is one in the position where k is pointing to means we have to put one to this position now increment i by one and at the end of the if else i have written k plus plus right so we have to increment k by one also then again i is equal to means i is pointing to the second element right and j is still pointing to the first element compare both of the two um, elements right so i is less than uh, j no it is not so the control enters in the else condition so we have to put the value we have to put the element which is at the position j so we have to we are putting here 2 in at k then increment j by 1 and also k by 1 so guys repeat the process like i and j are compared so now j is smaller so put 3 at k increment j and increment k okay understood now i and j again compared i is smaller so put 4 there i is increment k is also increment now again i and j are compared 5 is smaller so i put the value at i or oh sorry put the value of i at k then increment i and k by 1 so here <coughs> we have i and j pointing to the last position last element and uh, they are 8 and 7 so j is smaller so put 7 there at k and increment j by 1 and k by also 1 so guys now our condition one of the two condition become true right uh, which is j is greater than high so j will become greater than high so it's exit here we if else condition exit here now what we have to do we have to put all the elements remaining in the second sublist which is like which is the first sublist here means all the elements which are remaining in the other sublist will get copied into the uh, resultant array so for that we have to check which one of the sublist is get exhausted right so there is an if condition if j become greater than high means if second sublist is get exhausted means if no elements left in the second sublist what we have to do we have to uh, copy all the elements of the first sublist till it become till i become greater than mid means till the last element right so yes first condition is true so in this case our if condition will get executed and the second condition is here else if so means if i is greater than mid means if, or, or, uh, if means my first sublist is get exhausted no elements left in the first sublist then what we have to do we i have to you know copy all the elements which are remaining which are there in the second sublist i have to copy that in the resultant array so in our condition in our um, case 
first element first uh, uh, sorry first sublist is there which have elements so if condition will get executed jsb is become greater than high then repeat the following two steps until i become greater than mid so we have to put a of i means the element at position i 8 that is 8 to b k means we have to put 8 here in the last position then increment i and k by 1 so exit from this if condition also so now we have obtained our last original you know the resultant array which is in the sorted form right so we have seen how it works programmatically also i hope the concept of merge sort of uh, got clearer after watching this video thank you